guys um it's i cookies welcome back to part 19 i think um i'm pretty angry right now because i just recorded uh part 19 and i actually deleted it and what happened in that part is i was doing the quest and this quest and it just stopped and i'm gonna explain to you that um I showed you guys my free tip triplets and we did the quest and we growed um Haley up and Barnaby I we grow those two up. Oh my gosh guys Oh my gosh I'm so so unlucky person. Well it was a mistake I was doing with something else and I accidentally deleted it. Like ah uh, a shame you should have watched that and i'm actually gonna start uh this part from now i'm basically gonna go on with the part because i didn't finish the part yet and it really sucks that it just stopped accidentally uh because my phone was memory wasn't good and uh next time i should i should check again Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Uh, you will have that. Do you ever feel like you accidentally did something important or something that you want to say something bad and you deleted it? Oh, the feeling, guys. The pressure. So I'm gonna do this right now. So I'm actually 50% uh, away now. Hide in the public toilet. So go hide for 18 hours. So that really, really sucks, guys. Oh my gosh, my part 19. And I gotta do this all again, but. Uh, well, no problemo because uh, I feel, s well, I feel bad too. And here I'm going to show you in the beverage house. I have a second floor I just construct on. Which is upstairs. Here is the teen's room. Something's wrong. Oh yeah, I'm not finished actually. So I'm going to stop building right now. Because I don't know what to do in this video. Because I accidentally... Oh my gosh, that video. Like, oh my gosh. So, I'm gonna get a shower for this. Um, shower of power. I'm gonna get toilet. A black toilet and mm. yeah, and then uh, a sink, a sink, a sink, a sink. Gonna get the sink. And that's basically what it's gonna get him for. What's gonna get? I'm gonna put this here. And I am going to go down the room a bit. Small bathroom. Totally small, so let's check it out if we could go in there. So freaking small. 
So this is the bathroom. Two by three bathroom. Can you punch? One punch. Okay. Okay. So I have a teenager's bed in his bed. It's easy to buy the preteens first and then buy a teenager's bed. So I just teenager bed for him. I just need a bedroom for him because this room cannot get for him. And these babies, actually I'm going to delete this room after I'm going to grow them up. And they are going to be living upstairs like his brother. And have kinds of room upstairs as well. I'm trying to get much skin. So yeah, I don't know really what to do. Oh my gosh! So I've decided. I, I think I'm doing another quest as well. So yeah. So she hide in the public toilet at the park. Now, ask about journal. Get your teen to ask the pirate about his journal. Uh, she hide in the toilet before because she's scared that she will faint again. Because she fainted once and I don't want to see her faint again. So, it be so embarrassing because this quest they actually choose, they say to choose the right teen because that teen will fall in love with the Pirate, oh my gosh. And we have the only teen, which is Haley. So, what can I choose for her? It's up to her if she can, if she wants to fall in love with a pirate. It's up to her. It's her. It's, it's the same life, you know. It's up to their choice. Their parents don't really care. Their parents care that she take the... She will love the right person. Uh, that uh, that they take care of each other very well and uh, love each other for each other and not for something else. And that's actually their story. And I want to talk about more, more about Hazel, 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 whatever her name is. Hazel last. Well, she's in this big bad boy house. Well, she wants to, uh, her goal is to make a resort or a hotel which actually this is her first step um this is the house and getting guests and stuff so yeah i think i'm going to construct this as a resort this is going to be bigger a first resort in the town but don't have a resort at the uh, nobody's living in the island yet, so that's actually what she's gonna do. And she's gonna be uh, you know, with, um, I've planned for her to be with Scott. Well, Scott is a person that he he loves exploring, he loves to be with lots of people, he lo loves doing jobs and stuff. He just like, and he gets with Hazel kind of well they'll be lovebirds or whatever but they won't be having babies like the foot of hers they will be like concentrating on the resort first uh into the plants and stuff and uh barnaby barnaby is actually a kid that is uh very rich um not very rich that his father is a scientist, right? But he looks like a doctor or whatever. And they are rich people. And Nick wants the best for his son, his first son, Barnaby, to have a good life and uh, actually grow up as a gentleman and be kind to everybody. And don't be a boy, just be like a normal guy that makes his pro of his proud yeah so that's what um it's gonna be and this is just finished as about journal i'm going to be talking a lot in this part actually because the 
Um, now look at Paris Journal. Uh, look at Journal for three seconds. Okay. Solve the first riddle. The player said he's stuck on the first riddle. It goes like this. A man with a heart of a stone ponders upon his stony throne, surrounded by knights and kings alike. The clue is the color he most likes. Likes. Take a look around the park and see if you can solve the mystery. Once you find the answer, tell the pirate if you have trouble solving the riddle. Don't worry, it's multiple choice. Let me read again. A man with a heart of stone ponders upon his stony throne, surrounded by knights and kings alike. The clue is the color he most likes. A. It's yellow. C. It's orange. B. is purple. So let's check around here. How do we do it again? Take a look around the proxy if you can solve a mystery. Blah, blah, blah. Mystery, actually. Feed the ducks. Make a speech. Ponder. Heart of a stone. I'm not really sure, guys. Oh my gosh, my head falls. So, uh, as I was thinking, I thought, um, maybe it was brown. So, let's try brown. It's D for eight hours, and we're back. And now continue talking about the Sims uh, in this game. So, um, Julie and Tony, they're good. They're happy. What they want right now is to have loads of babies. Like, after Haley, they plan to have lots of babies. Because Haley is growing the first baby, first girl, uh, first child. So, it's growing so fast. So, they decided to have lots of babies. So, they have time with more than that family and uh that's why i'm going to do the baby glitch so what they want is they want uh eight kids so Haley is the first and so the baby glitch i'm going to do a glitch seven kids probably because they want lots of babies. They love each other. Julie and Tony. So yeah. Melissa. About Melissa. She is a clean. White. She. She works in a business. With her, their parents. Blah blah blah. And. Uh, she's going to be in love. In Andrew actually loves her. Like in love with her. But she doesn't know it. And she. Uh, Melissa. She's. Um. She likes animals. She's taking care of them. Uh, I have a puppy and kitten, if you don't see. in the past parts that I did. And, uh, oh, oh, I can't. And they, she loves animals. That's why she likes uh, playing with them and do the hobbies uh, with the animals. Because it's nature. But, uh, I didn't get her a uh, quitter or what. Uh, someone to take over the house for yet because I don't know, you know. Nick, I already talk about. He wants the best for his brother, no, his son. Nick, he's very uh in love with Camila. He loves her more than anything and love the kids. Is uh well, there's a secret about Nick. He he. He has a favorite child, which in the family they don't know, but he knows that the favorite child uh, and likes to be with the most is 
uh, his daughter uh, Belinda Beveridge. Uh, his he loves her so much. His second daughter, second child, and you know the loves their daughter, which here he is. He took her the longest than the other babies. So, but he still loves his, his um other son and daughter. The same hair as Camila. Camila is actually half half Austrian, half like Asian or something, because her face looks like it. <laughs> and next family is actually the Turners. They are the Japanese, typically Japanese. So Maria, when she will grow up, she's going to. Uh, Actually, um, ah, uh, what should she do? Hmm. Well, what the parents want for her is her to grow up and be typically uh, Japanese and uh, want to expect her to, you know, uh, make a shop, like a shop of tea. Typical green tea of Japanese and live in a Japanese typical house because Aaron and Jane they are living in the not ty typical uh, Japanese but they live in a modern or electricity more but wants Maria to get the old type of Japanese. Hazel and Scott, I've already talked about them. And actually, I'm going to be talking about Haley. So, Haley. Sorry about that. Haley grown up uh, as the only child first. And she uh, loved, loved her parents so much. She wants to be with them forever, but. Actually, she can't because someday they must go away or maybe she will decide to go and have the loved ones and have her own family. And she's actually grown up uh, and if you see her kind of dresses and stuff, she dressed like a normal, normal girl which doesn't really care about those uh, fashion Dolly. But actually guys the next baby of those of the Blue Hearts uh house which if you don't know who are the Blue Hearts is Julie and uh, Tony Uh Julie and Tony when they have baby have one child actually there there will be seven more so the next child will be a boy which he'll be a very gentleman. Then it will be a next girl, which should be a shy girl, a nerd shy girl. She will put on glasses. Maybe if there is glasses for her to put on. The next is a boy. This uh next boy, wait, wait, wait. This next boy is actually going to be kind of a uh athlete uh athlete boy and it'll be a girl which she will actually be a sweet girl which is a bit childish because she wants to be a kid forever but she can't she's kind of a sweet girl she talks nice to everybody next is a boy so he will be a tough boy and he will actually be a tough, very tough boy and beat all those other losers, you will call them. Tough boy, actually, and like skating and those stuff. And wait, which one already? Uh, I've counted. Uh, so 
Where were we? Where were we? Oh, uh, next is a girl. She will be a fashionable girl and likes to go out, hang out with friends. Uh, well, sometimes she's at home, but she likes to go hang out. She wants to become popular. That's her goal. That kind of girlish style and fashionable. She will put up lots of makeup when she's young. And the last book in the house would be a kind of normal guy. Normal boy, which he will be a boy that loves the outdoors, love exploring, love outdoors, uh, yeah, love animals, and he wants to grow up with animals. He likes the snow, he loves like typically everything. He's a very kind boy, he likes to cherish stuff. Is This is just kind of an idea of different kinds, Sims, you know. So that's actually gonna be like that because, and yeah, really what's my decision of making the sims, but I don't know when I add a new sim at level 20. And about these three triplets, uh, these three triplets, so Belinda, which, uh, uh, and the family doesn't know that her father loved her the most than others. So her father would really take care of her, give her whatever she wants. And that's basically the problem. And she would actually get, be, grow up being a selfish kid. And she would be nice still sometime, but a bit selfish. Brad. And he actually, uh, her family has to take care of his uh, sisters, so he's basically going to be lonely sometimes because, and he will be like a hot-headed sim because parents don't have time for him to take care of him. So he'll be lonely and he'll be a bit of a sad kid. We need some drama in the sim, so... But his brother, which he would grow up and know much more, would give him advices that, uh, that about this, cheer him up not to be down all the time. As for Brandy, her mother takes care of her the most. Uh, and she would grow up to be like a tom, tom girl. Not actually, and uh, not Tom Girl. She'll be like kind of a yo hip hop girl, but she'd just be not cool sometimes. Your father and yo yo. So that's a different kind of Sims. I wanted to talk about. I don't know how much uh, did I talk about. Oh my gosh, I've been talking for the longest time ever.
okay, the sound is a bit weird. Find the pirate. Now that your sims have finished telling their friends about the sneaky kiss, find the pirate is time to get back to solving the mystery of ancient godness. The pirate is somewhere in the town. Go find him. So I'm going to find him and I'm going to tell you guys. Okay, guys, we find the pirate. It's at the island in the horse place thing. Say hi to the pirate. There he is. Near the cro crossroads at the horse stable. Get your teenage sim to say hi to him. Why did you go so fast? Like, oh my gosh. Hello, sailor. Oh my gosh, we need to do this quest. I told her sim to sim him. Okay. So sing hi for one minute. So yeah. Okay, it's finish, finish. We finish. Say hi to the pirate. Now what? Solve the second riddle. He's trying to solve a riddle that will lead to a secret password. Once he has the power password, he'll be able to find the ancient goddess in the place of ev everlasting winter. Kinding lies dormant. As a fire ignites and the room fills with, with light, the lost page shall appear where the elephant's trunk is raised day and night upon this page. The most ancient password will allow the goddess to finally rise, solve the riddle, and share it with the pirate. If you stump, get stumped, try guessing. So... What can I do for you? So... How can we actually solve this? Excuse me. Like, guys. Uh, I actually did this already. Did it, didn't save. So I'm gonna try guessing guys. I think it's um crotchity crotchy maybe. So he wasn't right guys. So let's go for it must be one, two, three, four, five, six. So it wasn't that. Maybe it's uh is it password? Like, seriously, I want to know. So, guys, it wasn't password. So, it must be admin. Can't be, like, after that. Okay, solve the second riddle. It's admin, guys. Admin. And the teen dance with the private. Congratulations, you solved the second riddle. Get your teen to dance with the... Uh... Don't make something fishy with me, okay? Don't kiss him again. Actually. Hey guys, so I just want to talk about something. Well, before, like... Oh no! Not again. I have a teen dance with a pirate. Uh, I'm going to be talking what I want to do. Talk. As a pirate, why he's upset? Uh oh, the pirate looks upset about something. I wonder why he's crying. Ask him what's wrong. So I'm going to talk about guys. If in real life you guys stumbled upon someone, like your girl stumbled upon a guy or man, and then you open, clo you were closing your eyes and then open your eyes, and you saw the guy, you that's not real love if you just fall in love with him. Like seriously, that's just like movie thing. And if the man knows that you just fall in love because of that, that will be like, he won't really like you about that, love you about that. 
is like ridiculous well you should love people about something else not like stumbled and then oh i fall in love with this guy that's movie guys that movie don't follow them seriously and uh, this is game as well stumble upon and then like kiss kiss what they just talk to each other like only a few times and now they in love with each other that is so weird now what Okay. I've been talking. Oh my god. Convince him doesn't want him to leave. Quick, convince him to stay. The pirate looks out to sea. Talk of his life and the generation before his living on sea turning back to your sim. He said it would be foolish of him to believe he could ever make a home in sim town. Please stay for four minutes, guys. So she's gonna cry because she's in love and I don't know why did I pause and play that oh, girl there's other sims out there which she can be love we can just create a new, a new sim to get in love with like seriously guys or Barnaby whatever if you like to love Barnaby which is younger than you like he's a preteen okay I don't really know now so I'm gonna snap this because she is like crying because it's her first love. I'm gonna post this on Facebook after. And basically, guys, it's gonna be finished here. And a mother is right there watching her daughter crying because a pirate in love with her. Oh, she's in love with. And we go back to bye bye sea. Okay, convince the pirate. Tap the ancient goddess on the island, despite all the sweet nothing you seem to whisper in his ear along with, prom with promise of meeting their parents. Parents? The pirate knows he must go, but not before he shares his discovery of the ancient goddess. Near the public beach on the island, go check it out. So she's gonna go check his parents out. Like, okay. Go check, you fall in love because you just like... Oh my gosh. Ancient garden is level zero. The ancient garden give your sims a chance of earning bonus, hobby, skill after any interaction. Earn gold, rubies, and emeralds by trading resource with the captain of the pirate ship. Send your team to the park. There it is. Wow, it's going to be spectacular. And look, the pirate left a message there for your teen. I have for you. Come meet me in the park. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Oh, yeah, like YOLO. Let's go. Okay. So she's not going to be crying anymore. Or I don't know what the heck will happen after. So, yeah. Just come with me, guys. What the... Send your team to park. Say goodbye. <laughs> but what a weird song. Do, 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 do. The pirate explains to Yasim that he's heading back to the open sea, promising to return as often as he can, bringing with him treasure chests, everything you need to rebuild the goddess. Get your teen sim to talk to him one last time to say farewell. Looks like a wedding party. I thought... Shut up. Come talk for two minutes. Okay, where is she? Such a romantic farewell. I don't know if there's like a false or true. That her walking there. Oh my gosh. Like, first. Oh my gosh, she's the dancing. Oh my gosh, looks awkward so much. I'll be back. Okay, it's finished, guys. Say goodbye. Congratulations, you completed goodness. Congratulations. The road to fame. Explore the world of the rich and famous with your teenage sims. And the adulthood goes under seniors. 
and bird feeding and in stitches and life dreams and legacies. Where did he go? He's gone. He's gone, girl. Are you crying, girl? So that's basically it, guys. Thank you guys for watching this uh, video. Even I talk too much because I am so into the Sims replay. Like, yeah. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe that red button if you want to watch more videos from me. And yeah, comment if you want. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.